now we will beat this general section okay we already fetch uh, the data from the api uh, in the last video so let's go to the components and we have this general list right and here we are already fetching this um, the list of genera okay so what we will do we will store in one uh, variable so we will use the constant and with the help of use state we will store it so say genera list say genera, genera list is equal to use state okay. and here inside this uh, method we will just set this general list okay uh, so we'll copy this one and we'll paste it here okay and save it now in general list we have all the list which we fetch so inside this one first we will give the so here we will give the title for our genre okay means the heading so inside the h2 tag just type genre okay uh, and uh, after that we will give some style to this one so just say text of size 30 pixel <clears throat> and uh, I want font to be bold okay and save it let's see how it looks so let's go back to application you will see this genera correct I will remove this um, the red color right which we applied so in home.jss we applied this red color so I will remove this one and then save it after that uh, on the dark mode when when we change to dark mode right we have to give some color when it's a dark mode so um, just say text white okay and save it so if you see right or if I change the color it's changed to black and black to white see okay also uh, I will give some padding because right now it's touching to the screen so let's go back to home.jsx and here only uh, we will give some padding so just write padding of 2 for example and save it uh, we don't have any change we have actually this very small change so let's say padding x to 5 actually we are not able to see due to this one so but if you see right we are getting this um, padding uh, if you want you can give more it's up to you so if you see right we can able to give the padding now we have to iterate uh, this list of genera correct so uh, we will just iterate this one right so let's say general list oh, sorry not like this so in curly braces you have to write general list dot you have to map this item and say item okay and inside that we have to do arrow function and just write inside div we'll write the uh, all the design so here first we'll show the image source okay and this is a dynamic dynamic in the sense that we are getting from the item right so just type item and we have to check what is the uh, field name for the image so let's go to our console we already printed this uh, list of general right so here if you open any of this right we have this image background correct so just type dot image dot image background okay and then let's give some width and height to the so inside the class name right we can give width and height for this image so let's bring it here so let's say width of 40 pixel and then height of 40 pixel because we want a square okay and if you go back application if you see we are getting the all the list you see okay next uh, right now right is if you see stretching and not correctly so just write object cover so it will be look good now you see okay after that uh, we'll do round large okay and uh, let's see how it looks so if you see we are getting all the list of genera okay so 
so now let's let's add the title okay so in h3 tag we'll add the name of the genre so item dot let's see what is the in the field name so we have this name okay so just type item dot name and save it so once you did it you will get the name as well you see in the adventure okay now bring this uh, along with uh, this one so here what you have to do uh, for this parent do mark it as a flex okay so let's like flex and now it will bring all together okay now give some padding and margin so i will say gap of 2 and then item to be in the center so it will become a vertical center okay and uh, let's see how it looks until now okay also we use some uh, margin from uh, bottom maybe two okay and you see perfect now on hover we want to change color if you go back here right uh, let's let's consider dark mode first and if i hover on it it changed the color it changed the background as well right so wh what I, ha I have to do uh, let's make it cursor pointer first okay and uh, on hover I want to change background say background uh, of uh, gray maybe not that uh, so much light but 400 for example and let's go back here see make it 300 and uh, if you go back right you see 300 okay also we want to give some padding some margin so just write padding of 2 okay and we want to round the corner so rounded to be maybe large okay perfect now same thing you have to uh, do for the when you change this uh, color right if you see this uh, name is still black right so you have to basically mention for the dark what will be the color correct so write class name on dark it should be a white correct and if you go back here so go back here first and let's see how on dark it looks right white only also i will increase the font little bit so font to be oh sorry takes to be a 20 pixel let's see how it looks and too much 18 make it 18 okay. and the uh, text to be white it's not dark white the text to be white and if you see on text is white also i want to change this uh, on hover color as well okay so on hover okay if it's dark then make the gray and uh, maybe let's see how it looks in our example on dark right so it's gray but uh, quite dark so like maybe like this we'll try it and let's go back in our application if you see perfect and on color we'll change it correct perfect now another thing uh, if you see here right it's moving right uh, so we have some small animation also we are increasing font on hover so again uh, for this right uh, on not here but uh, you can just write group so how it works right so whatever if you mention this div as a group so whatever you include in the uh, group on hover that it applicable all the elements which include in the uh, this particular div correct so now in order to write this right you have to write like group hover and then you have to for example uh, let's scale the size little bit okay and if you see if you go back here you will see the size is changed right but it's too fast so just write transition all for smooth animation and do the is in out also make the duration to for example 300 okay and you will see that change right? see okay perfect also uh, same thing you have to apply here so on group hover you have to make the font to be bold and also just copy this transition all everything for this as well and now if you see perfect 
same thing if you go back here right on for dark mode as well you will see this okay so i hope you understand this one now when i select any of this right i want to make this uh, background uh, to be active right so in order to do it right uh, we will set the we have to set the variable uh, uh, the one constant where we can store the active index right so just type constant say active index here you can set active index is equal to use state okay and initially we can say zeros okay now if you come here right and keep index here okay so we can track the index whether it's zero or fifth element or third element like this and then uh, let's wrap this in a curly braces because uh, we have to put the condition and remove this quote and put this type of uh, quote okay now here we will write the dollar sign the condition we have to write so the condition is when active index active index is equal to equal to index right then we have to uh, show the background to be gray 300 okay so it's curly braces and if it's dark then this dark one okay otherwise don't show anything so it's null okay and uh, what else i miss So only thing right mm. okay so instead of this let's wrap this with the double quote not the double quote okay so not null to this one right okay so null will be a separate uh, uh, option and if you click on it obviously right now you will not see any changes okay because for the only zero element it will active because we did not add on click function uh, right here so to this uh, uh, parent view right we will add the on click function as well on click so on the click we have to set the active index okay so on click set active index and uh, we have to set the index which is active and it will set the active index value Okay, and if you save everything and go back to application, if I click this one, it will set. If so I click on this one, it will set. If I ch change color, right, it will reflect it immediately. Perfect, right. So also uh, on the click, right. Obviously, I want to increase the size, and also I want to uh, make the font bigger. You see, like this. Okay, so inside the same condition you have to add whether the font is a uh, bold or what okay so it's again uh, this the same condition which we added here right we have to add for each of the for example for image as well you have to add this condition so wrap this in curly braces change this to this uh, quote and then we have to wrap like this okay the active index font to be bold sorry so in this case not font but we have to just scale it okay and the same for this one as well so once you get this um, you learn it right and you have to make uh, do some practice so that you can understand easily and here i will change this font to bold And if you go back here now, right? If you see the font is also changed, and the when we click any of this, correct? Okay, perfect. So also, if you see right, if you scroll down, you will see this white still right, and uh, this um, background is not at the bottom. So let's update that one. Now inside this app dot JSS, which um, we added this height right, hundred vertical. So just change it to minimum height. And if you go back here, right, right, uh, let me remove this one and you see everything is black screen now. Okay, 
and it's working for the light and dark mode as well so in next we will work on the game listing uh, section